Um, is there any spirits upstairs? What the, the hell? Tonight, we're staying inside of this very haunted cabin deep, deep in the woods. Who's there? Whoa! Oh, At this point, I was thinking to myself, do we just leave? Do we go? I mean, it's already ramping up so damn quick. How is it going to be a couple hours from now? Are we going to be able to stay here? Are, are we safe? Things were summoned here. Dark things were summoned here. And I believe that we already caught something on camera that I couldn't have ever imagined that I would have. I don't know, I don't know what I'm looking for. This was the one of you. That's not you, bro. Wait, hold on, let me take a look. First off, you're wearing a hat. Second off, that's not how mirrors work. Bro, I think we just, I think we just literally caught some sort of spirit or demon on camera. The oh! uh, okay. okay, um. The video that you're about to watch is footage from our stay at what we call the Conjuring Cabin. We call it this because of its dark and twisted history of the first initial homeowner that conjured something within this cabin, within these walls that were was so dark, so twisted that we caught it on camera. Whatever it was, we clear cut caught it on camera and it was horrifying. I never thought I would catch something like this in my life. and. You guys are in for a treat, get ready. This video is not for the faint hearted guys. Just putting that out there, massive, massive disclaimer. If you've been following the videos, you know that me, Yasko, and my friend Ben have been traveling to numerous haunted locations and just kind of recording our stays. In the process, it seems that I have picked up some sort of attachment and I actually went as far as to get a psychic reading. Uh, I'll put some of it in this video, but if you want to see the full psychic reading, it's going to be over on my second channel. The link will be down in the description below if you want to check that out. But with all that being said, guys, uh, we're going to get into this video because it's a wild one. I don't want to waste too much time blabbering. I want to get straight into this video. I want you guys to see all of the crazy activity that we captured this night. If you are excited for this video and you want to see more, make sure to smash that like button. As soon as this video reaches 15,000 likes, we will drop the next paranormal investigation at our next location. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We're on the road to 500,000 subscribers. It's our goal to get there and we can't get there without your support. It just takes a second. Click that button and we appreciate it so, so very much. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Good luck. You're going to need it. That was cool, right guys? <laughs> oh shit. You ready, Ben? Yeah, bro. We're officially locked in. Let me just take off my bag and whatnot. Same way. How was that? Is that a a little car? toy car, yeah. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, based on what the owner told us. That's what what the owner told pretty, us. Pretty wild. Um well, I'll, when I tell you the full story, but essentially right now, what the homeowner is dealing with, they have a pretty big family. And uh, one of the things that they experienced, the kids at least, the children, is their toys were like, the, they would sound off in the middle of the night. They would move in the middle of the night. Oh, good. Yeah. It's freaky. So, um, I guess, let's start this off. Spirits of this cabin. In this land as well. My name is Yasko. You can call me Jazz. And I'm here with... Ben, you can call me Benjamin. Ben, hi. <laughs> Sit it back, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, if there's any point in the night you want to show yourself, you want to reveal yourself, you want to communicate with us, please do. We'll be using different forms of, uh, you know, equipment and whatnot to better. Oh. Oh, well, that's thunder. Yeah. I thought I heard something upstairs. Okay. I was about to say <laughs> someone here. <laughs> um, Cool, cool. Um, look at that Harry Potter door. That's upstairs. That's actually something coming from upstairs. Oh, shit. Hello? Yeah, let me go check something. 
I thought I just saw that. Yeah, I was right. This is just slight, what is this room? Oh, it's just a bathroom. See, I was like, uh, looking at this room, bro. Yeah. And this door, like, slightly, like, moved. Oh. Uh, Ben, if I put my phone down, are the lights on up there? Like, That's you can see them on the wall. Yeah, you can see them on the wall. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, hold on, Ben. Um, is there any spirits upstairs? What the, the f Thank you. Um, well, come upstairs right now then. I mean, you didn't even ask for that. I didn't, yeah, I just asked. But I did notice. Lights are on. That's yeah. what I saw. So, pretty cool. Okay, yeah, now you can tell the part of the cabin itself. So there's a bedroom in here, bathroom, big bed right here. Look at this picture up here. Huh. You heard that too, right? Ah. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't stop doing that. No. Everyone hates it when I do that. It's like a nice, cool area for like storage and whatnot. Um, I thought you heard like a voice coming from over there. Uh, what if we just set up the spirit talker? Yeah, that works. Uh, spirit talker, uh, spirit box app, see if we could communicate with whatever the hell's, you know, going on in here. Because yeah. uh, once you guys hear the full story of this place, you're going to be like, damn. All right, so I'll sit right here. Um, have a seat, I guess. Let's get comfortable. Yeah. Actually, here, switch with me. I'll sit on the bed if you want to sit right here. Okay. doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. When we walked in, there was definitely like a lot of noises. It was hard to tell if it was the storm or if it was something paranormal. Um, when we got to the staircase though, that's when things changed. All right, uh, the spirit talker is now live. Spirits of this cabin, spirits of the land, if you wanna come forward and communicate with us. You sure you wanna do that? I mean, after last time? Mm. Yeah, last time was pretty damn hard on me. Not gonna lie, I, I had a really difficult time just with everything. I don't know what happened the last time we filmed. We went back to a cabin that we've already been to and I actually have some stories, some news to tell you. I got a, a psychic reading today. Oh, no way, yeah, really? Yeah, I swear to God, yep. And uh, someone was very reputable, someone has lots of, you know, and whether or not you guys believe in psychic mediums and stuff like that, I really did a lot of research before I did something like this. And, you know, a lot of you guys were recommending to do one. And I'm very glad I did because I got a lot of answers. But essentially what I was told by the psychic was that I do have an attachment. And they're very angry. This spirit is kind of, there is definitely a spirit that is attached. Let's be clear about that. And I'm seeing that this spirit is angry with you. Feeling that you were telling its story unfairly. Oh, shit. Yeah, so that full thing will be on the second channel, but... Uh, last time we filmed, we filmed at another cabin. I was just so drained, guys. I, I was like lost. I, I, I couldn't really explain it, but we took a break. Maple. We... <laughs> Not Mabel, bro. Where did we hear Mabel? I'm trying Mabel to was the one who drowned at that one cabin in the lake. Oh, you're right. They found her body like 30 years later. What does that have to do with here, though? I, I just have an attachment, right? Is, is the attachment that's with me Mabel? I mean, maybe. I mean, that was just like crazy. Yeah. But the story of this place is, is not connected to any of the more, more recent videos that we've done at the cabins and whatnot. Uh, the story about this place is, is intense. 
and the current homeowners uh, are definitely reporting tons of creepy activity that's going on to the point where they moved out. So they own numerous houses and they just haven't really lived in this one for a while. Right, and right. They kind of just use it as like a, hey, if we're ever in the area, we got a place to stay kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, Mabel, is there anything else you want to share with us? Anything at all? It's thunderstorming out too, which is adds to the creep factor a little bit for yeah, sure. Sure, that the lightning. The oh room. yeah. It's... Hold on. Do you hear footsteps? <laughs> Bless I'm you. so sorry. <laughs> Bless you, bro. Oh my god. I'm confused right now. Nothing after Mabel, bro. Just Mabel. Maybe we should ask Mabel, like, hey, Mabel, bro. Uh, Cabin. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, you guys can see that. Cabin. Cabin in the woods. All right, Mabel. Can you help us out with this cabin? So the original woman that did summon something on this property, her name was not Mabel. Uh, her name was Margaret. So... I wonder if Margaret will come through as well later on, but cap. The hell was that? It's not like it came from downstairs. That wasn't lightning. No. Lightning doesn't knock. And the lightning comes knocking. I'm gonna check this. Wait. Got something. I'm sorry. We're hearing things for sure. It almost sounds like, like stomping, yeah. kind of. Oh, it's like another. This is a, oh wow. It's not a crawl space, kind of like the other one. Oh, I think it's connected to the other bedroom over there. Oh Let's really? Check that out in a sec. Yeah. What are you sorry for? Oh, maybe, maybe we're speaking to the original woman. Who's who? opened oh yeah and yeah. summoned this yeah maybe that's what they're saying they're sorry for summoning it in the cabin yeah yeah listen we're all you know what they say um oh god i was gonna say curiosity kills the cat that's <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> please don't kill me hopefully you have a sense of humor um we all make mistakes and um we want to know if there's anything that we can do to help you maybe get to the other side or if there's anything that you want to help us with to maybe rid of this dark energy that's here. Right. Okay. I'm hearing like tons of weird things. Right? Let's go check the other room. Yeah. If there's anything else out. Anything else you want to share with us, please do. It's a little smaller bedroom, but. Sebastian. 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 Okay, that's a new name. Oh, yeah, it does connect. That's pretty cool. Little tunnel system. Yeah. It's like the, the two the kids like, in the middle of the night. They're like, "Yo, let's play." Yeah. Well, some of the things that the kids experience. Bro, hide and seek would be. Fire here, bro. Bro, would be That's the door. That's literally the door. Hello, Sebastian. Was that you? Okay. I was gonna say, the kids report. Crazy. That's actually crazy. Footstep. You hear that, right? Yeah, I do hear that. Footsteps. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you for taking your time to communicate with us. The kids report seeing things like they'll wake up to like a shadowy figure standing next to their bed. They'll wake up screaming. Sister. The sister uh, reports her toys are like moving in the middle of the night, making sounds. Now, obviously, a lot of it's gone. They right. don't really stay here anymore. But 
they when they invited us, they said, you know, they'll clean up the place a little bit, make it a little homey for us, and you see that? That's a key. Like it was a key, but it's broken in half. But why is it nailed to the ceiling? Wait, hold on. Attic. You think that was like a key for the attic? No, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe this was. That's a weird panel. It is. Actually, this whole ceiling is weird. It is actually. This is really interesting. Hold on. There must be an, There has to be a way to get up there. I'm going to take a look in here. Just a real quick look. What the fuck what was, was that? that? What the hell oh, was that sound? It was, it was a crutch. A crutch literally just fell over. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go in here. Okay. Um, who was that? Conjure. Oh my god. The witch, the woman conjured Conjure. something. Here. You hear that, right? What the fuck is that? This cabin, bro. There's something here. There's something, like, evil here. Okay, um... I'm a little bit less scared than normal at the moment because, one, it's still daylight out. And... We decided to come in here and basically scout the place out before we really get into the investigation because, but damn, like, yeah. we're, we're just getting straight into the nitty gritty. Oh, hot damn. That's some loud thunder, bro. Conjure, that's, I think that's the craziest thing. This place has a way of kind of driving you a little bit up the wall. Um, it really is very noisy. It's hard to tell what is the storm, what is something paranormal. There's definitely something going on here for sure. I, I The fucking door opened on its own. The one thing I want to talk about on this app, bro, is how pinpoint accurate it is. My phone's on airplane mode right now, which means nothing can like come through at the moment everything right. else is off yeah it's just simply on this app one of the main comments that we get is like you guys are using an app like are you guys serious like what type of paranormal investigators are you mm -hmm. we've only been doing this for about three and a half months now and we've been using this and we swear by it on the drive here ben and i said to each other we're gonna call this place the conjuring cabin right mm -hmm. because it's a cabin that something was conjured in right <laughs> yeah i mean that's that's pretty straightforward I mean, we've been calling the cabins that are in the woods, cabin in the woods. And That's the true. first time we went to the cabin in the woods, it said cabin and then woods. And we're like, wow. In a few responses, it says cabin conjure. I think that's absolutely insane. It's crazy. Um, now, don't get me wrong. We do have some more equipment coming. We're going to be doing, you know, like REM pods and stuff like that, which right. will be pretty sick come, go, going forward and whatnot. But well, let's just say one last thing and then we'll go unpack the rest of our equipment. Probably get you know, situated and started for the rest of the night. We're gonna set up multiple cameras. Um, see if we can get into this damn attic. And then also share with you guys the full history of this place. So, we'll let you know, say one last thing. Not your chance. No pressure. Oh my God. Sacred ground. That's all we needed to know, because Secret that's a hundred percent accurate. It's it, this whole story just ties in, like full circle now. It's it's absolutely insane. I can't wait to tell you guys a full story, and I can't wait to investigate the rest of this place. Uh, we had hopes on investigating the land as well, but with this thunderstorm, that's probably gonna last all night. I don't know if that's going to happen. So, um, see. we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully. 
All righty. Well, let's go get the rest of our stuff. Um, thank you for communicating with us. Thank you for telling us everything. Um, hold on one sec, Ben. I'm what? not trying to freak you out, bro. But like when your light came, it almost looked like a shadow went like this. In the bathroom? No, no. This way. Left. So it went over in that direction. Yeah, from the bathroom? From the bathroom? It almost it was like standing at the bottom of the stairs. And oh. then it went that way. So hold on. You smell that? You fired again? No. I wish it smelled like that. No. This smells peculiar. Peculiar. I don't smell. Oh wait. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Ben. What? Look. What? This pulls out. Oh, that yeah. makes two of us. So I can sleep. We can sleep here. Too. <laughs> we can sleep. Hey, here too. Makes, there you go. You did the joke, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we can sleep here tonight instead of upstairs because now one of us can stay up here, one of us can be in the bottom rather than be in two different rooms. Fair. Um, damn, you literally hear that rain. I know. It's crazy. But all right, guys, so let's get the rest of our stuff and then uh, see you guys in a little bit. Bit. Um. Yes, yeah, you guys soon. Peace. All right guys, I'm going to share with you the full story of this cabin from start to finish. It's a very shocking and disturbing story, so I wanna put a massive trigger warning. Please, if you want to, skip on forward because it's, it's pretty dark and twisted. And I feel as if I have to share this with you, uh, regardless in the video, because it does cover the full basis of the history here and the names of the people and everything that happened in the town as well. So. You're probably wondering first and foremost why I'm not explaining the story in the cabin like I normally do at places, but we did. And it was really weird, but we filmed it at that one table with all the candles and stuff, almost just like this. And the clip about two minutes in went mute as if like it just didn't record the audio for the next 10 minutes or so. And then about five minutes in, the screen went black. And that was, it was, it was really weird, but it recorded the full clip as if there was a full clip. And then for the rest of the night, everything else was pretty normal uh, on the SD card. So it was really weird. It was almost as if like the spirits in the cabin didn't want me to share the story or maybe whatever was summoned as well. So yeah, I'm going to explain it here and hopefully we don't have any issues similar. So here I go. This cabin was built a very, very long time ago. We're talking over a hundred years ago. And at first it was owned by a woman by the name of Margaret. And in the town, Margaret was considered to be a recluse and no one really paid her any mind. She kind of did her own thing. I want to put a quick little note just because I had a lot of people comment the last time I covered something like this. But guys, the occult doesn't necessarily mean bad. Having an interest in the, in the occult is just like having an interest in the supernatural or the paranormal kind of like what I'm doing right now, but yeah. The people in the town didn't really mind. They kind of considered Margaret to be an outcast anyways, so they kind of just let her do her thing and everyone else did their thing for the most part. One night, a group of townspeople decided to confront Margaret about everything that was going on in town. So they made it over really late in the night and knocked on her door a couple times, called out her name, but there was no response. They waited for a little bit until they heard a blood curdling scream coming from within the cabin. They busted open the door and to their surprise, they found Margaret deceased. Her eyes turned in a form of way, still open. Her body turned in an unnatural position and no source of what possibly could have done this to Margaret. They took a look around the cabin to see if maybe there was someone hiding who did this or was there sort of a weapon that was used to do this or anything of the sorts, but to their surprise, nothing. All they found was tons of strange symbols etched into the walls and the floors of this cabin. And that's when they knew maybe Margaret did take an interest into the occult, but then it turned into something darker, something deeper than what they thought. And maybe her curiosity got the best of her. And just maybe she summoned something that she couldn't control. After that fearful night, the townspeople decided that they would just avoid this cabin altogether. But they continuously noticed that if they were to walk by the general area, they would see apparitions, shadowy figures, voices coming from outside and within the cabin. And 
they knew that whatever did happen that night truly was dark, and it seems that it's still lingering on in the area. Now, the current homeowners purchased this land and the house with it, and they decided to renovate it to their best ability so them and their family can move in and live inside of it. And not only this house, but there are some other houses on the property as well. They do have a bigger family, so they were able to separate such and such into these other cabins. And we will be touching up on those cabins probably in the next video. But regardless, we're focusing on this one especially. Now, they were very, very happy because this is on a secluded area. And they were like, this is a great place for the kids to just unwind, have a great area to just play in and you know, get their minds off of the real world. However, it wasn't long before the family started to notice things. The family spent several weeks transforming this cabin into a... What the fuck was that? Um... Okay, um... The family spent several weeks turning this cabin into a cozy retreat for the family. And it wasn't long before the activity started ramping up. Now, before we get into it, the family did not believe any of the rumors that this place was haunted. They didn't believe in the supernatural, the occult, if you will, but eventually they did. The kids reported seeing shadowy figures standing on the side of their beds in the middle of the night. They would hear whispers that would wake them up. Their toys would go off and make sounds and all sorts of things. They constantly feel as if they're being watched, even if they're completely alone. It wasn't long before the parents started noticing things as well. Uh, one night they woke up to their bed shaking violently, uh, to which they thought it was an earthquake. We don't tend to get earthquakes up here. It's, it's very, very rare. However, they said that what they felt was more of like a seismic uh, reaction on the bed. It was almost as if just the bed was shaking and nothing else. And they were horrified. At this point, things started to ramp up. They would hear footsteps in the hallway coming up and down the stairs. And it was getting so bad to the point where the children just did not want to be alone in their rooms. They wanted to be with their parents at all times. It was at this point the parents said, you know what, enough's enough. This is great, but let's, let's get out of here. Luckily, the family owned numerous houses and they decided to go back to their lifestyle of living in the city. They still use this place from time to time and get out here whenever they're in the area. They have a free place to stay rather than going and staying at a hotel. But even when they come here on the random occasion, they still experience this paranormal activity. This is where we step in. The homeowners reached out to us and asked if we could stay inside of their cabin for one night and see if we could experience any of the things that they experience and figure out if it is really paranormal activity or are they just losing their minds. Now, obviously, I'm recording this after I left the cabin and I can confirm that they're not losing their minds. And if they are, we are as well because there is some intense activity going on in that cabin. Some like I've never seen before. After speaking with the owners again, they have concluded that they will be going forward and performing some sort of cleansing, whether it needs to be of an exorcism or whatever it may be. They're going to go forward with it, but it's, it's an intense energy that's there. It's a very strong, dark energy, and you'll see later on in the video, but we caught this energy clear cut on camera. It is... Oh my God, I got chills just thinking about it. So right now we're gonna get back into the video. Now, as this point of the timeline in the video, we just filmed this exact portion, us sitting down and explaining the story to you guys. While we were explaining the story, I heard some sort of sound coming from upstairs. I said to Ben, yo, Ben, get the camera. While we get, were getting the camera ready, we heard some sounds coming from the window in the first floor, almost like it was knocking. So Ben and I decided to split up. It got crazy. Take a look. Hold on one sec, guys. You you heard that, right? Yeah, I heard that. We literally heard knocking on the glass. This is incredible. This. I'm glad that you find some joy in this, yeah. right? In messing with us. We heard what sounded like was like knocking on the glass window behind us. We were getting everything ready because we were going to bring everything upstairs. However, once that happened, we were like, okay, maybe we should split up. One of us goes outside and one of us goes upstairs. So Ben's going to go outside. Because also, remember in the story, the townspeople, after everything happened to Margaret, they were, is it a bug? They were experiencing things around the cabin. They noticed shadowy figures and all sorts of things, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's also what the current family is experiencing as well. So, you know, maybe you'll capture something. 
I'm gonna go check upstairs because we're still hearing things coming from up there. So, um, 20 minutes, 30 yeah. minutes, that, that, and we'll meet back up. Sure. Okay, cool. Um, first, we literally just got, this is incredible. I'm glad. I need, glad you think so. before I go, a big swig of this. Good luck, sir. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Do you have a name? Sound real quick. Who's making all those sounds upstairs? Bertram. Whoa. Bertram? I've never gotten that before. That's wild. Bertram asked, what's the name of the person upstairs? Ben? Yeah, I heard that. You heard that, right? Yeah. Bertram, is that you? All right, I'm coming up. All right, good luck, bro. Thank you, brother. You as well. Thank you. Is it still raining? Uh, yeah. Lucifer. Oh, no, no, no. We're not doing this now, Lucifer. Not doing this right now. Wait a second. Hey Ben. Yo. Did you by any chance just hear like a woman? N not really. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm still getting my boots on. Do you want me to come up there or? Um, maybe. I feel like you're getting a lot of activity. Is there anybody up here with me? Anybody? Any spirits? My name's Yasko. If you want to show yourself, please do so. Who's there? Oh, shit! Oh, my Jazz? God. Ben? Oh, I'm coming down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck? There was like a a paddle upstairs that like literally okay, you know what? Hold on. Let's you can you come upstairs with me? Yeah. Okay, let's switch to that camera. Okay. Give me one sec. Okay. Alright, we're coming up. You ready? Spirits, we're coming up. Yes. What did that say? Uh... It said some. S O M E. Some. Who did Bertram? Was that you? Who knocked over? Whatever the hell it was. The. It was the paddle. Yeah, it was the paddle. Bro, this was up against the wall. I remember the paddle. It's windy outside, right? But this is a shelf. The wind's not gonna be like... It just... I don't think it would. That's a lot of power. Very strong spirit. Here, take a look in here. Actually, can you give us the name of who just did that or what just did that? What the fuck? Bro, ain't no way. That was literally knocking coming from right here. That's wild. This is the same shit we heard like a minute ago. Hold on, hold up for a sec. Many other souls. Oh my goodness, many other souls.
Did you experience anything? Oh, you didn't even go outside, did you? I didn't have the chance to come here and you go through shit. I... Now I think about it, I don't remember this door even being closed, bro. How can I close it? this? You think this is what... No. I don't know. But... I don't know. I was standing right here, like almost like pointing the camera at the mirror when the spirit box said Lucifer. And like that just gave me a bad vibe altogether because it happened at the last location we just found. Now this is one of the children's rooms. Um, You can hear the rain just pouring down right now. Yeah. Spirits of this cabin. Is there anyone in this room with us? The fuck was that, bro? It was like a slam right when that happened. Bro, okay, I'm freaking the fuck out. One, we just got, I was executed. Okay, hold on, hold on. Right at the exact same time. Yeah, okay, we're, let's go, let's go. Uh, the lights downstairs aren't working? No. Um, I guess I could use this. Where's my flashlight? Scared. Yeah, I am a little scared. Thanks. Nothing at all. It's so weird, bro. Now, the crazy thing is, it said executed. Right when we heard whatever the hell we heard. Yeah, and remember, Margaret, they found her body all discombobulated and, and whatnot, almost like... Well, what if someone else, like, got to her first? You know, yeah. like, it seems like the town kind of had, like, this Vendetta. whole idea that, like, she yeah, was, she was it. some shit. And that yeah, like it the, had to be her. The bullseye was on her, like, target was on her, essentially. So, you know, everyone shows up and she's already dead. I mean... I don't know, man. That's kind of weird. Us. us. Okay. Who is us? Didn't earlier say there's there's more of us? Yeah. Okay. And so it said that also, like, right when I was just saying, like, you know, maybe there was some foul play. Yes, yes, and you're it was like right. Us. Okay, hold on. Let's go back up. Spirit Talker's up there. We're, so th this is another one of those. Please watch your step again. This is one of those scenarios. Cold. Where it's like, we go upstairs, we hear something downstairs. We go downstairs, we hear something upstairs. Yeah. Footsteps. Bro, it literally sounds like something's like shuffling up there. Who, who's up there? That's fucking crazy. Do you like? Go first, or you want me to go? No, no, after you. Okay. After you. Oh, yo, I'm gonna go grab the headphones for the SS method. Okay. I'll make sure it upstairs. It's in your bag, right? Uh, I think so. Okay. That's crazy. I can't find her, bro. Do we bring him? Maybe not. I don't even know if that's a good idea here. So, thank you, Deaf. I'm only five. Oh. Okay, so it's not Margaret. Okay, yeah. Somebody else that we're speaking to right now. Only five, don't, oh, that's so tragic. That's sad, bro. Sorry. Do you like playing with toys? We have a toy downstairs you could play with. That's true. If you can maybe make it go off. Push it maybe. Any time of the night you wanna play with us, we'll be willing to play with you too.
Yeah, did you hear that? What? In the closet? What'd you hear? This, there was, I don't know, like a, hey, maybe it's just a house creaking out. Oh, someone gives me weird vibes about this thing. I don't even I know. The fuck is that? I don't know, bro. Maybe the attic, but we can't find a way up there. Yeah, we, we looked, guys. We can't find this damn attic. It definitely exists, though. You think so? I mean, the way the house is shaped, yeah, there's, yeah, there's it has something to be. up there. So this is like the... Thing so, and that goes up to either the either that or it's covered based on what happened in the past. Could be. Now, my only concern. We're gonna find manifest. It. I completely forgot that was there. It scared the shit out of me. Oh, manifest. Okay. Great TV show. I haven't um, checked it out yet, but I'll take your word. Good watch, good watch. Oh. What the f- That's I'm coming from you. right above us, bro. We have to find this attic. There's 100% an attic. Because on the outside, you can see like a little window. Yeah. And this is a door, so that's not it. That leads that's to the balcony. It. Yeah. Unless it's from the outside. I don't- Could be. Like a little, like, uh, fire case. Now, if you haven't thing. noticed, but, like, these are newer wood floors and also carpets. Because, bro, like, if you look at it, this carpet just pulls right up and there's another Step carpet underneath. Carpet, bro. So, bro, in, what if the floors underneath this are the original flooring? Remember, the, the symbols and the weird stuff was all underneath that. Yeah, you're right. And they... Ch Out. Ow. Remember what we just said? Is the way to the attic outside on the balcony. Oh, you're right. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Okay, let's wait till the rain slows down a little bit and we'll check yeah, that fine. out. Thank you. It's almost like it wants us to come up there now. Yeah. But let's check in here. I'm always concerned when it wants us to, so. Yeah, very much so. Should I see if there's anything like interesting in here that maybe. Thunder and lightning isn't helping. No, not at all. And all the damn sounds that come along with it. Oh, man. I hope you guys are hearing everything, too. I know it might be a little bit more difficult with these microphones, but... Run now. Oh, God. And if we don't... What happens if we decide to stay? So... Damn, it's crazy. So there was someone we were speaking to was five years old. And so many. There's us. There's a group of us. There's a group of us. Or no, I think it said us, but there's a group of But remember one thing, too. Uh, demons sometimes like to portray themselves as children other people or other people nice yeah. but a lot of times children are you too scared brother now they're playing games okay fuck you are you too scared the spirit box just said yes i'm fucking petrified i hold on i gotta see that i gotta see that bro for myself i haven't it's almost like this thing is growing like ai like it's growing like a brain, bro. It's scary because the things that's coming through, are you too scared? Run now. That's absolutely... What the fuck? Bro, I said run now earlier. Maybe now was now. Now is now, Jeff. Yeah, we're scared. We're 100% we're scared. What the fuck was that? Something's going on right now, bro, and I'm not. No way. Lord. What 
I said that earlier as well. Putting like hot and cold or something? Maybe. Like we're getting closer. Okay. You ever played hot and cold with a ghost? No. And if it says at any point I'm like cold or hot, right now something. I'm out of this bitch. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm not playing hot and cold with bro, a ghost. Bro, I'm that's trying to tell you like, these are not your normal ceiling panels. Like, I'm sorry, but it's not. It looks like it looks like what they did was they just put up like uh, that plywood jet and just kind of like. Cause like look over here. You know. Yeah. Why didn't they just use another full one like this? Right. But instead they use, I mean, it could be it should have been leftovers or whatever, but the whole, like, it just looks almost like screw the attic. Let's yeah, just cover, cover the shit up. Can, then. Like, my only concern is like, okay. Obvious. Okay, thanks. I'm, I didn't think it was obvious. It was just a theory. But, okay. Hold on. I'm gonna go out on the patio quick. I wanna see if. Push each... way to the top? Yeah. It's pouring. Oh, it's not out here, bro. No? But, yeah, no, but it's pouring. It's like a tarp. Yeah, that's also weird. There's a tarp right outside, the, like, like. Over the door? To cover. Thing. That's weird. Groom. I heard that same sound again. It said group. We've already been here for a couple hours and you can definitely sense that there's something dark here, some sort of dark energy. However, I want to reiterate one more time that the occult and looking into the occult Studying the occult isn't necessarily bad. It doesn't have to be. However, I think in Margaret's situation, it may have ended up that way. Margaret was considered a witch just because she had an interest in the occult. Did she maybe get offended by everyone considering and calling her a witch that ended up her delving deeper into dark magic and ended up summoning something she couldn't control? We don't know. All we know is that there is something here to this day from back in Margaret's time. And it's, it's dark. Okay. Um, yeah, the real freaky thing about this place is that when you're downstairs, you hear something upstairs. You go upstairs, you hear something downstairs. I know. And it's like, you can't win because it's almost like whatever is there is like toying with you. It, it, and we do know that spirits do like to be tricksters sometimes. That's true. But... It seems like it's rampant here. Like it seems whatever we're dealing with is very uh, powerful to say the least. Yeah. Um, can you give me some sort of sound? Let me know where you are. Or maybe even let me know via the, the Spirit Talker app. I'm still mind blown over the fact that I said, are you too scared? That's great. Amelia. Okay. Amelia. Are you downstairs or upstairs? Earlier I said sister. Is Amelia the sister? It could be. Is Amelia the sister? Stay and talk. We're, we're, okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. Amelia, we're here all night. We want to get to know you a little bit better. This probably shouldn't be up here, just knowing our history of things. Um, Put it in the basket. I'll just put it in the drawer. <laughs> oh, I'll put it in the basket. Oh, I have an idea. Amelia, can you show yourself? What? Can you hear that? Hold on. No, what do you hear? I'm probably just losing it. Amelia, was that you that I maybe saw? I'm tripping balls, bro. Fair. In this house? Yeah, I am too old. Okay. Um, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll take some photos. Oh, good idea. Um, how about I let you say one last thing? 
One last thing before I take some photos. So um, I'll take some uh, night shot photos downstairs of each room, essentially. And um, I'll take like a selfie, see if maybe. Because yeah. when I was like this, I thought I saw something back here. So I could take a selfie, see if... That's a good idea, yeah. Different, I guess, you know, switch see it up. See if they're like, like photobombing you. <laughs> they're in the back like... I <laughs> gotcha. They put the bunny ears on my head. <laughs> Chase. Chase. So Amelia and Chase. Or does Chase have a deeper meaning? All right. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take some photos. Take some. Yeah, can you, would you mind turning off that light for a sec? Oh, yeah, I got you. So yeah, you it, it allows it to generate more light through the pictures. Oh my god, it's so creepy. I'm freaking out. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's getting a weird feeling right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just a mere reception shit right now. Because I have a mirror in a mirror facing a mirror, facing a corridor. If right. your name was a mirror on top of that, bro, you'd be like set. All right, let's take a look at some of these photos. So this was the one with the mirror, and I don't think I really see anything. This was the selfie. I'm going to turn up the brightness quick, but I don't think I see anything. Oh, whoa, what is that? It's really weird, but you could almost like see. Like, I don't know. Yeah, how, yeah, kind of. I'll, put, I'll put some of these on screen for you guys so you guys can see as well. This was the one of you. Um, ho bro? Wait, ho that's not you. That's not you. That's not you, bro. Wait, hold on. Let me take a look. First off, you're wearing a hat. Second off, that's not how mirrors work. Yeah, let me see. It's here. Zoom out. Also, the camera in your hand is right in front of your face. Holy f Bro, I think we just, I think we just literally caught some sort of spirit or demon on camera. At this point, I was thinking to myself, do we just leave? Do we go? I mean, it's already ramping up so damn quick. How is it going to be a couple hours from now? Are we going to be able to stay here? Are, are we safe? I don't know. Bro, I'm like shaking. I'm like genuinely, I... I have an idea, I have an idea. Stand right here for a sec? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so angles. We gotta get a better understanding of angles. Uh, so you were right here. Can you see me in the mirror? No. Okay, hold on, if I move like here. Go to the left. Like you're, no, that way, to the left. No, try going to. This way? Yeah, go that way. Let's walk. Anything? Okay, I'm starting to see you, but you're way too close. Yeah, back up. Like, back up towards the door. Okay, now go a little bit to your left. Stage left or left? Left. Oh my god. Yeah? Yeah. So this is where... Like right there. I can't even see anything right now. Oh shit, Ben. What? Okay, I just noticed something because the lights weren't on in there. Yo, hold on, I'm gonna turn this off for a sec. Yeah. Bro, look right here. Hold on, that light just blinded me. Um, bro, there's two eyes. 
One right there, one right there. Oh my god. Bro, I'm telling you, I think we just caught like a demon or something on camera. Bro, hold on. Can I see that light for a sec? So the only place from that angle, it would have to be there. Because, bro, that's not like a regular shadow. That's like a... That's weird, too. That's like a like, thick mist. Okay, let's get an idea of, like, height, too, right? So, like... What, like... It's about five, six feet? No. No, because... Five and a half, maybe? About, maybe. Not, not even, honestly. We're, like, five, six, five, seven, right? So, like... Closer to five, seven. But... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just freaking tripping. I'm saying this balls. is a very short person. So, did the you... spirit box earlier say like something about like a five year old? What five year old do you know is five foot tall, bro? <laughs> Put that dude in the NBA already. Yeah, you're right. I'm saying I think we maybe could have called Margaret if Margaret was, a, you know. Oh, you're right. I mean, my girlfriend's under five foot tall. You're right. I'm just thinking in regards to that, but like. weird too because I just just curious because uh this is like something I've never thought I'd ever experience in my life now we did something recently we did a mirror ritual which is the freakiest thing ever because it correlates in a way now we did a mirror ritual where we used candles shut off the lights and close our eyes we said right. when we reopen our eyes, we want something to be standing behind us, beside us, or in front of us. And when we opened our eyes, there was something standing in the hallway behind us. Now, is that the same thing again? Or is this something here? That's what I'm concerned about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. However, my mind's not in the right place right now. And I'm kind of just all over the place at the moment. So I'm going to go take a break. Sorry? But we'll see you later. I need to think right now because that was insane. Wait a second. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Yeah. Okay, hold on. So when I took the night shot photo of you standing, yeah. I took two. And bro? What? In the second one? Yeah. Look, there's nothing there. Shut the fuck up, bro. Look, there is nothing there. That just clicked in my head. What? Oh my God. I got some serious chills right now. Thank you. Thank you for showing, showing yourself. yourself to us. <sighs> Holy shit. All right. I'm. Yeah, I think that break. Yeah, let's go take this break. Um, guys, if you've caught something that we missed, anything, please let us know down in the comment section below. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is going on? I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm very excited to sleep. I really haven't been getting much sleep lately. It's just a whole bunch has been going on. Tons of filming, tons of driving, traveling. It, between editing and all that, it's really hard to find time to just relax and unwind. I literally on the way here, I think halfway on the trip, I pulled over to take a nap in the car. And uh, I thought that was going to be enough. But honestly, I am I'm beat. I'm very excited to go to bed tonight. However, I can already tell 
things might not be letting me sleep throughout the night. I mean, on these adventures, it's kind of, uh, it's hard to tell how we were going to sleep that night. Um, but it was time for us to go to bed. And it was a combination of being wiped and just wanting to go to sleep versus not wanting to sleep here. Oh, I cannot wait to just sleep. What is this blanket, bro? What is this? It's even cover my whole body, bro. Oh, I'm so tired. I haven't been this tired. I can't tell you how long. Yeah. You were, uh, I'm glad you pulled over earlier. Oh, my God. Had the energy drinks help as well, but. Yeah, true. Oh, guys, I'm going to be honest. There's some crazy shit happening here for sure. I think we could really, like, I don't even know how to put this in, in words in English, but there's something here, obviously. This yeah. is one. Now, we also we got to understand, this is like a rustic old 100-year-old cabin. It's going to make sounds, especially during a wind thunderstorm. It's going to make sounds. Yeah, windstorm or whatever the hell we had. But whatever we caught in that photo, bro, that was horrifying. And Ben, yeah. you hear that? What is that? That damn window. Okay, I'll check. Because I haven't went to bed yet, I'm going to check. Oh, God. Hold on. Can't see shit. Okay. That's, ben, that's the same shit we heard earlier. When we heard, like, the knocking on the dam. Yeah. 100%. Make sure I... Did you hear that? Yeah. The fuck is that? So we just went outside and we were out there for like 10 minutes, kind of just like for a breath of fresh air and everything. There's nothing, like nothing in sight, bro. There was a salamander, that's about it. That was Apart from that, cool. like, no, there's nothing. <sighs> Oh, I'm an idiot. What? That's a long story. <laughs> well, it all started. <sighs> I don't know. That was definitely like tapping. And it for what a sound. What the fuck? How was that? You heard that, right? Yes. Bro, it was like this. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep here, dude. These leaves were like rustling, like right in my ear. We have until what? Three o'clock? Yes. Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta get everything hooked up again. I'm not a fan of this place, bro, I'm gonna be honest. If you couldn't tell. I can't name one place I've been a fan of. Fair. Like, All oh right. yeah, the ghost just Ow. scared me just right. <laughs> Would come back again. When I left, I felt, I felt great. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost drained every bit of energy yeah. I had. But you know what? It was a great family spot. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... What is, this, what is it? You know, people like drink those awful drinks to like release their toxins, but really they're just like having crazy diarrhea. Like kombucha? Yeah, bro. It's like ghosts are like the kombucha of life, you know? Like they. Yeah, bro. Just remove the toxins. Oh, man. All right. Listen, guys. I am going to get as much sleep as I humanly can because we have a long drive. And. I'm going to try to sleep. Once again, if we hear anything throughout the night, we'll wake up, I guess. Check it out. And once again, we probably will wake up. It's a very noisy cabin. 
you know, we're constantly hearing things. So, mm -hmm. yeah, regardless of the fact, uh, good night, Ben. Good night, Jazz. Good night, world. Good night, creepy, black, shadowy mist that we saw in the mirror. Good night, table that's across the room. Good night, refrigerator. Good night, moon. Okay. Doesn't make any sense, bro. Oh my god. What the fuck? No way. There's no fucking way. <laughs> ah, fuck. <clears throat> God. Oof. Really fucking funny. Guys, let's go investigate.
try to trip on anything like earlier. Definitely came from upstairs. Oh, fuck. Hello? Trying to stub my toe. Okay. Making progress. Okay, it didn't come from here. Oh boy. Okay. This door opens the wrong way. That's really annoying. Oh. Okay. Hello? I swear I keep on hearing whistles here. Okay. I don't know what I hit it on earlier. hearing noises but I I think it's a storm I'm 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 gonna go back to bed Okay guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I am exhausted.
you're exhausted. You don't you even know. What do you mean? I've been through a lot. What happened? This door's slamming and you're, I didn't even try to wake you up. I wanted to let you sleep, honestly, bro. You need to sleep. The door slammed door? and just, oh, I, uh, I left the neighbor's, or not the neighbor, bro. I left the, I left the kid's toy outside. Mm-hmm. It was making noise, so I put it in the rain. I'm just, it's outside now. Was that a little car thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know what was going on, but, bro, this place sucks. Yeah. Is there, is there hear anything? I don't, wake up. I don't remember shit. No, yeah, you've been sleeping like a baby. I feel it, like... You feel like a baby? <laughs> I feel fucking drained, bro. Like, yeah. I feel out of it. You, you ever wake up from, like, a nap? And you just regret life? You don't know what planet you're on? You don't know what yeah. genre? I feel like you Genre, I said. You yeah. know what era you're in? You know what genre music you listen to? <laughs> you, like, load up your Spotify and start playing funk rock and you're just getting really into it for some reason you're not never into it normally <sighs> yeah I've been there um you hear that yo I hear a lot of shit Chaz I'm I'm hearing a lot of shit right now. Why is this clock so damn loud all of a sudden? Ah, ah that's so bright. Ben. That was a bad idea. Jesus, man, have some decency. Sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Thank you. All right. I'm so confused as to like I don't feel like, bro. This shit feels so weird. It's like one of those high school naps where you come home early and you're like, you know what, I'm going to go take a nap. Oh. You drink a Capri Sun. Oh. You have a Hot Pocket. Like, I'm beat. I have an idea. What? Taking a couple of photos? What the fuck was that? No, oh, no, man. Okay, that I heard. Okay, I'm looking at some of the photos I took right now. Nothing's gonna compare to that fucking weird ass shit you got earlier. Unless I get it again, right? Yeah, then I'm leaving. Oh, okay, I saw something in the photo, but it was my. It was my, um. Chaqueta. Your what? My chaqueta. Chancleta? Bro, you're Spanish and you don't know what chaqueta means? My jacket, brother. Oh, I didn't hear you. No, I really don't know what chaqueta means. Sorry. Okay. Um, hold on, I gotta turn on my brightness. Bro, what the fuck? Well, you're Bosnian and you don't even know what bo- boyo is. Which I know what that is, clearly. What? It sounds like somebody's scratching at the wall. Yeah, something like. like clawing at the damn wall or door. Is that coming from the Harry Potter closet? <laughs> Harry Potter closet. What do we do? Um, I think we just gotta start. We're just stalling at this point. We gotta investigate. Alright, let's go. I have one more energy drink left. It's a very unhealthy habit, guys. Don't get into it. There's a website, guys, where you can calculate how many would kill you. What? We, I showed you the other day, Yeah, bro. yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. At times throughout the night, I felt as if I was going crazy just based on the things that I was hearing. It felt as if something was literally walking right beside me. The floors were creaking as if Ben was walking past me, even though he's standing still right in front of me. And you start to question your sanity. 
numerous times throughout the night. And I don't know, at a place like this, you're not alone. You're never alone. It's like that scratching on the wall type of shit. Yeah. Are we doing this? Yeah, we're doing it. Okay. Damn Harry Potter. Dude. Should we cut the lights? Ghost. Oh dear God. That's great. That's just fantastic to hear. Here we come, ghost. <sighs> ben? What? Okay, I'm hearing shit over here. And this is exactly where we saw the spirit initially. This is exa exactly where we literally, the thing fell. You didn't even see that yet, but that was on the night vision camera. This, like, this is the... Hello? Ben, Ben? What? Okay. What the f is going on? If there wasn't a damn balcony on the second floor, I would jump off right now. I might jump right now. I, I open the door. <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to f compose myself, compose myself, compose myself, compose myself. Oh, dearie me, dearie me, dearie me, dearie me. Didn't you say that this damn door did the same thing earlier? Yeah, like maybe an hour ago. There's no fucking way. I'm losing. All right, ghost, we hear you, we see you. What do you want from us, right? Listen, bro, I think at the end of the day, what we were invited here for, it checks out, right? Yeah, I mean, the place is haunted. Okay, so first and foremost, maybe I should stop freaking out, right? We always get that thing, we're paranormal investigators, we come to a place, we hear something, why do we run? No, this is what we're here for, right? So it's different when you're here. It's so much different when you're here. I'm angry. That's different. i trying to see if there's maybe like a name carved into this. Maybe like a name that we heard earlier. Nurse. nurse. I'm angry. Popping off answers quick. Oh, sorry. I'm angry nurse. Angry nurse. The Great World Atlas. Just trying to make sure that we... Put things together right now. I'm also trying to keep myself together right now. That's why I'm just so looking. There's a body found here. A nurse. Well, I don't know the only body that was found here, from what we know of, it's, was Margaret's. Yeah. So. I mean, assuming they're talking about that. Assuming if they are Margaret. Yeah. I don't know. Who killed Margaret? Nurse, can you let us know? Or what killed Margaret? Dead quiet right now. No. It's been way louder in the house. It's so quiet. I hear a clock. I think I hear the clock from downstairs. That's that's kind of concerning. Right after it says body. 
Can you tell us what happened to said body? Attach. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Attach. I mean, a couple things. Is something maybe... What the fuck is this? Ow. What is that? What? I don't know. It's like weird stuff on my skin. Bro, it's like my skin's peeling. What the fuck? Speak. Ow. <laughs> That's weird. Bro, like the dead skin's just falling off my finger. I, I know I have a band I cut myself earlier, but... Ow. Um, clean that up in a sec. <laughs> speak, speak. Okay, maybe it wants to speak to us rather than tell us through this. So let's let's sit and listen and see if we could maybe hear a voice. Margaret, can you tell us who killed you? This is so loud, bro. It's crazy. Margaret. Margaret, are you there? Surprise, we're not kidding. It, was like, it was like one after another for yeah. a second. This is concerning. It's like, door slammed, we're angry, you know, body. Yeah. <laughs> so attach. Was the spirit of the body that was found attached to one of us? That was quick if it was. Oh my God, we just got here. Medieval. Medieval. So from maybe from the medieval time. That's a long, some hundreds of years. Yeah. Maybe we're talking to a different spirit right now. Someone maybe. who's just on the land, on the land, but maybe not related to. What we're talking about. <clears throat> hey, we want to speak with Margaret. Margaret, can you please come forward and speak to us? Before we leave, we would like to get some closure with you. And maybe potentially whatever else is in this area. I think we can 100% confirm that whatever the owners are experiencing is indeed paranormal and they are indeed not losing their mind. Uh -huh. um, you know, it. it's so easy for skeptics to purchase a land that's considered haunted and there's rumors that it's haunted and you'd be like, ah, bullshit. You know, right. I got this place for a cheap price. Right. However, once a skeptic experiences something, it's almost like a you got to see it or experience it to believe it kind of thing. Yeah. And I believe that's the worst way to become a believer. That's true. Because, uh, I mean, we're, bro, we're experiencing exactly... You, did you hear that? That sounded like a child. That sounded like a... Carol. Uh, what? That sounded like a child. Oh, is her name Carol? Hello? It was coming from the, the kids' room. I can't, I can't move right now. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What's wrong? No, listen. Okay, I'm good. Is your leg? Yeah, I'm fine though. Carol. We heard you loud and clear. It's really weird how things are covered up. Carol, can you show yourself for us, please? Of course. 
Oh. Ow. Whoa. What? What happened? Mm. What happened? Ben. Here, here. I'm going to What happened? It feels like someone's grabbing my leg right now, bro. Like, there's two hands on my leg. Like, not my fucking hands. Can you ah! It? Hold on. Hold uh. on. Can I see you for a sec? Yeah. Here, here. Pull up your pants. Pull up your pants. Uh. Oh, yeah. Jesus, bro. You actually did hurt yourself pretty bad. Bro, there's like yellow. Oh, it's like oozing. <laughs> I know. That was a couple hours ago? Bro, you really should ice that. Jeez. Ah, fuck. Oh, bro. Why is it hurting so bad all of a sudden? I don't know. Okay. It's like gone. What? Yeah. You good? I mean, it still it still fucking hurts. But what did it feel like? Like someone was like digging their fucking finger in. Oh, like pressing on the wound? Yeah. Ugh. That just sounds painful. I'm not gonna show the wound on YouTube just because of YouTube demonetization and whatnot. But it's like, like it's pretty not good, bro. Like, I like dented it. I like dented like my like went in. Ugh. Oh, it's fucking. All right. Um. Damn. It, right when that happened, the spear box said Jimmy. So maybe it was Jimmy that did that. Almost like a. You know. Like fucking. Playing it like a prank okay. or something. I don't know, bro. Dude, I'm okay. Maybe we go. Get out of here. Alone. Uh, alone. Alone? I don't know what that means necessarily, but I don't know either. Let's go downstairs, bro. After you. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Thank you for communicating with us tonight. Jimmy, Margaret, Carol, Carol. everybody, everybody. We really appreciate it. We hope that we could return one day. On good notes, stay here with you and move forward. We hope that what the fuck is going on here? All right, look. Curse. let's go. Let's go. After you. Jesus. Curse, bro. Uh, okay. okay. Um. Are you hearing me? I'm fucking uh, done. Uh, I'm done. No. The fuck, bro. I know this probably isn't how you wanted this video to end, and this isn't how we wanted it to end either, but there was no way we were staying any longer. Uh, ben was out the door. <laughs> he was gone, and, you know, I'm not going to force him to stay somewhere where he doesn't want to be, and, you know, we were invited here to basically just determine whether or not this place is haunted, to determine if we are going to experience similar things to what the homeowners were experiencing, and we did. So, you know, we did our part, and once we informed the homeowners about our experiences, they have determined that they will be indeed getting a cleansing in whatever form it takes, however extreme they might need to go to rid of whatever is on or in this property. And, uh, I think it's a little bit more on the darker side. I'm thinking just based on what we were experiencing, I think maybe Margaret did summon something beyond her control, beyond something that she could have ever imagined. But we want to hear what you guys have to think about this. So let us know down below. By any chance, if you guys caught anything that we missed, please comment that down in the comment section below. Uh, it'd be great to revisit some of the stuff, react to some of the stuff that you have seen, if any. And um, we'll update you once the homeowner updates us. We promise. So, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next paranormal investigation. Peace.